Yeah, you know what I mean? But it is freaking nice. This is the same thing I dropped off. It's gorgeous. Seeing it in person was incredible. Well, you gave us a goal. We set out to build the ultimate low part. There's so many quality one-off parts on this car. It's just absolutely insane. I love the front. The whole oh. front is sinister. I mean, I could stay and look at this all day. Just to have it all hidden, and then the lights go all the way around it. I've never seen anything like that before. The original hood was inverted on this body line right here. So it went down. Right. Which is kind of counterproductive because we have a supercharger in there. It's over the top. It's, it's incredible. 42 years in the making. He nailed it. Did you bring an extra pair of socks? Because I'm about God. to blow the rest of them off here. Show me. Come check this out. This color on this is called Virtual Viridian. The color just blew me away. I just yes. can't get over the pink. How beautiful it is. It's one minute it's blue. It's a little greenish in there. It's an incredible color. Did an excellent job picking that. And it just looks striking, especially the contrast with the red-lined tires. And how wide the tires are in the back, too. So. <laughs> it's a monster. Wow. It is. The stance is, it's just sitting low, mean, and the tires are overwhelming. So a couple of things that are noticeable if you have a stock Coronet sitting next to it. We took an inch and a quarter out of the front of the roof and laid the windshield down. This car has a nice sleek line, That's but it sleek. still looks like a 67 Correct. Coronet. It's subtle and beautiful. Yeah. Less is more. Right. How do you get this stuff out of that head of yours? Check out the interior on this thing. Should I take my shoes off? No. It's your car. You can keep your shoes on. Wow. Wow, how man. Inside and outside, how it matches and just flows is, <laughs> it looks tough. So a lot of the patterns are based on the original. In fact, the dash, this is all 3D printed. Yeah, they hit the mark on the inside. It's still got a coronet feel to it, but really updated. It gives it kind of a muscular look without yeah. going too far overboard. This car will still be in style 30, 40 years from now. Let me show you the magic in your ear. Without further ado, you ready? Wow. Now this is the baddest Mopar I've ever seen. Under the hood, we've got a third-generation Hemi. This is putting out 820 horsepower based on the Hellcat. This is absolutely the baddest. This is all the work they've done on the inside of the engine bay here, so all of that's been smoothed out, very organic. There's more than enough in there. I mean, 835, 50 horsepower, it's going to get up and it's going to move. I know we're not going to be able to take this out because it's snowing out there, but i got to hear it. Let me fire it up for you. Awesome. You're going to love this. <laughs> to the supercharger wine. That's what's going on here, yeah. Boy, when you open up those zoomies, it is party on. Wow, what an engine. It's going to be the terror of the town when it goes to the shows. I told you, if I didn't have a, a crew back at home, I might get emotional, but <laughs> I can't do that right now, so I really appreciate it. Hey, Jimmy. I got a good friend out of this, and I got a bitchin' Mopa. Probably the baddest one on the planet. Over the top, sick, whatever word you want to use. The stance, the color, the interior contrast, the front face. I mean, there's so many aspects of this car that are so simple and clean that it just makes this car look like, well, this might be the next American muscle car that everybody's got to have. It's yep. one hellacious bitch and ride. Good way to end the season with a beautiful car like this. Wow. Spectacular.